everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly create this neat little effect that looks like two containers are uh, curving into each other. So I saw this design on Instagram created by someone called Nasia Design, who made this very cool looking visual effect of these two sections kind of curving into each other. I immediately started thinking about how could we do this in Flutter. And so the first thing I always do when I'm working with a mock or a design in web development or app development is I try to break the design down into actual widgets or components uh, that I might need. And so looking at this design, we can actually divide it into two sections. One is this uh, main content container, and then the other is this bottom is this bottom panel down here. And so if you look at the bottom panel, you'll see that its foreground is a gray container, or dark gray, with a white background container. And so the gray container is stacked on top of the white background container. And it's kind of the opposite here, where you have a white foreground container, which is stacked on top of a dark gray background container. And because the background container here has the same color as a foreground container down here, it looks like they're kind of curving into each other. And we're gonna make use of border radiuses on each of these corners to make it to make that curve actually happen. So now that we've uh, figured out what this layout is gonna look like with widgets and the visual hierarchy, we're gonna go ahead and grab a couple of the colors from this design so that we can make our Flutter app kind of look the same. So what I actually like to do is I like to go to Google and go to uh, this website where you can just quickly paste in an image and then just grab the colors from here. So it's pretty quick. It's using a full white for the background white and it's using 252525 for the gray. <clears throat> and so in Flutter, what I'm gonna do, I'll just keep the simulator open. I'm gonna create two constants uh, where I'm going to use the primary color as the white color we saw. But I'm going to use a slightly off-white color, not a pure white. Uh, it's just personally feels better to me when working with a contrast between white and grays. It might not be super noticeable, but it does help when you have a lot of content on. And then for the other color, we're going to do con secondary color color 0xff. The leading FF is the alpha or the opacity of the color. And so FF is 255, which means it has maximum, uh, it has maximum opacity. And so we're going to use 252525. That's the hex code. And so we have our color palette essentially set up. And so now we're going to start actually building out the design we were looking at. So the first thing we want to do is we want to actually build the containers for this thing. And we know that it's going to live inside a stack component, which lets us layer uh, children widgets on top of each other. So we're going to create two containers inside here, container, container. Uh, I'm going to put a comma here so that it formats a little nicer. And inside here, I'm going to give this the I'm going to give this the color that we decided. So this is the background container, and it's going to be the secondary color. So you can see it's gray now. And this is going to be the foreground container, which is going to contain the primary color. So now you can see it's fully white. Now, we saw that over here in the foreground container, there is a bit of a border radius on the bottom left. So the way we can actually do that with a container is using the decoration property and using a box decoration, which comes with a border radius. Before we fill that out, just in case you don't know what the decoration property is, you can go ahead and click into it and read the dark documentation about it. And so this says that it is a decoration object that is used to paint behind the child or behind whatever child goes into this container. If we actually click on the decoration, you can learn a little bit more about what decorations are. And they're basically a way to paint uh, things in Flutter using Cartesian coordinates. 
So that's actually similar to what we do in web development with CSS. And so a lot of the properties available under this box decoration is similar to what we have in CSS, like border radius. So coming back to border radius, now we're going to use border radius dot only because we only want to affect the bottom left radius. So I'm going to do bottom left and over here I'm going to choose, it takes an object of type radius, so I'm going to choose radius dot circular and this is going to be about let's say 88 which is a value I picked beforehand. Now it says, we get an error which says um, to provide both use decoration, box decoration, color, it's basically complaining about the fact that we're using a color and a decoration. When you're using a decoration in a container, you're just going to have to provide the color inside of the decoration since the decoration is responsible for painting essentially the background of the styling of the container. So we just move that in there and now it looks good. And down here you can kind of see in the app simulator the, the curving that's happening. So we have that. Now let's actually wrap the stack inside of a column widget, which allows us to arrange things vertically. Because what we now want to do is we want to add the same kind of stack, but for the bottom panel. So where the color and the type of radius we're doing is inversed. So this background is going to be a, the primary color now, since it's over here. And then the foreground is going to be secondary color. And then the radius we're going to change now is the top right radius. And so we've done that. But now since we're inside of a column, we need to provide sizing information. And so the way we can do that is by using an expanded widget on the first stack. And the expanded widget, what it basically does when it's inside a column widget or a row widget or any type of flex widget is that it expands to fill the available uh, width or height of the container. In this case, since we're in a column widget, it's filling the available height. So you saw that without it, there was nothing on the screen, but once we added expanded, uh, the original stack that we had set up is now showing up with this bottom left radius. Now to get the other stack to show up, because it doesn't have any size information, we're going to wrap it into a container. And inside the container, we're going to give it a height of, say, about 200. And so now you can see that we've set up the curving. And this is pretty close, or it's basically what we have here. So from here, I encourage you to go ahead and design maybe the rest of this mock-up and see how far you can get. It was a very interesting exercise for me to do as well, as this was one of my first stabs at Flutter, and so I thought I'd share how I approached this design. I can actually show you really quickly uh, what my end result looked like after designing the whole thing, and here we are. This is what my final state look like. And this took about a couple of hours to do. And it was really cool because we can kind of use stacks and containers in really powerful ways, uh, subtle but powerful ways. So for example, right here, you'll see that it's using, it's actually a stack with the background container being styled with the gray color and then a foreground container which contains the image and the text information but they're positioned slightly above using a positioned widget. And so that allows the image to kind of look like it's popping out of the background container. So there's a lot of neat little visual uh, things here, and I highly recommend you try designing this UI yourself in Flutter. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please share any comments, questions, or feedback in the comments below. Thank you.